last week's match, this week's match. I mean, he's going out there and just blown the roof off the place every single time. Every match different, every match great. Yes, this was not as good as last week, but it was fucking great. Very few are. And uh, I really like Jeff Cobb. Oh, yeah. Great monster. He's improved a ton. He's uh, he's great. This was awesome. So afterwards, the Blackpool Combat Club surrounds the ring. Omega knows they've already taken out his buddies, or at least suspects. They took out Hangman. They're a very dangerous crew. He's outnumbered three to one. No Don Callis, no Bucks. Out comes the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. I haven't seen him in three or four weeks, whatever it's been since the title match against MJF. He said he was going to go home for a while. He comes out, music's playing, and he's in the Blackpool Combat Club, but has not been doing much of them for months, actually, for a long, long time. And he gets in the ring, and he is not happy. These guys are out here. He just get off the air, and he's shouting at him, giving him orders. He wants to make sure Kenny's okay. And Kenny eventually figures he's safe, and he turns his back on a dragon. Don't ever turn your back on a dragon. And as soon as he turns his back, Brian, uh, Brian goes to the corner and preps the big-ass knee strike, and Kenny turns around, and Brian just lays him out, and the place goes crazy. Now, they're heels, right? Yeah. And the place goes crazy, and it can be a bad thing when the crowd is cheering for the heels. I need to make this clear. The Blackpool Combat Club are heels who get cheered. They are not cool heels. They are not out there trying to make the baby faces look stupid. They are not out here trying to get cheered. They're just here to ruin lives. And ruining lives is awesome. That's so the crowd cheers them. Well, they. I think part of it was the fans actually got to see a big thing happen. I think okay. that's one of the reasons they popped. Because when he first got in the ring and he was kind of kind of looking at Kenny Omega, they did do the no chant. Like they did not want him to turn on Kenny Omega. But then, when it was obvious that he was going to do it, because he got in the corner and crouched down, mm -hmm. then they were like, ah, fuck it, too late now. Well, this is awesome, we get to see something. Yeah. And they cheered the guy. Yeah. And uh, they're all... So here's the Blackpool Combat Club. They're all they're all bad dudes. Maybe you could call them heels, maybe not. But they're bad dudes. And they were they were evil dudes, except we didn't know about Brian Danielson. Because, you know... The whole Regal thing happened, mm -hmm. and Moxley and Claudio and Wheeler, they were all very upset about it, but Brian Danielson was upset about what happened to William Regal. He left with him in the ambulance, the whole nine yards, and then he lost to MGF, and he left. And as soon as he was gone, the second Dad left for work, these kids, they started to have a party a violence party, and they started killing blokes. And so you were waiting for Dad to come home from work. What's going to happen? I thought that maybe Brian Danielson would come home, they would all turn on him and beat the living hell out of them. But I guess the story is probably going to be that Brian learned after losing to MJF in that Iron Man match, that God damn it, that MJF is right. These nice guys finish last. It's time to start killing what is everyone's favorite sandwich? So I was at a shindig last night. There was a grilled cheese sandwich truck there. The, hmm. the cheese pit. It was ham, pepper jack cheese, and sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. And I had them add jalapenos. Instead of the barbecue sauce, they had their own uh, garlic honey mustard. I had that on there instead. These are both excellent choices. That sandwich was pretty goddamn great. There are still a Quiznos in the area. I keep meaning to go visit one. The pizza sub at Subway. It's not on the menu anymore. But you get the, like, the spicy Italian that have the, add the marinara sauce and the meatballs. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni, green, green pepper, onions, and you leaped mushrooms. You to answer this question, man. I'm, I'm leap. strongly opinionated on this one. What is your favorite type of sausage? Munchen House in Leavenworth, Washington. The Big yes, Bob Bratwurst. One third pound pork seasoned with a mild spice blend. Sweet and sour mustard on there. Your sweet relish and onions. That's, that's a meal right there. So he presents his doctor's note, which is literally just the words, He's sick, written on a Wingstop receipt. I don't know if they sell the Thigh Bites now, but those are so good. The thigh Bites at Wingstop are awesome. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.